Welcome to the 3D Cut Freak channel. Let's start sculpting the fuselage of the Spaceship One. When you create your first form, you have an option of several different shapes, but I think it's pretty clear that the cylinder is the best fit for a fuselage. Let's sketch the circle for the fuselage on this face and look at it from the front so we can sketch the correct diameter. This is about it. The length is roughly 200 millimeters. We will change that later. Let's get rid of the top view and the front view because we start with the side view of the fuselage. What about the number of faces? As you can see on the diameter now I have eight faces which is a very good starting point and for the length of the cylinder I have four faces. It's I think it's pretty clear that this is not enough. We are going to need more faces because we need to uh, go for the for the correct shape of the fuselage but it's it's pretty important not to go for too many. It's easy to add them later. I'll start with six faces. Now when you start sculpting, you can now select your geometry and edit the form. In this case, I would like to start uh, selecting whole sections of the fuselage and change the scale of that section in order to achieve the correct diameter. This is of course best seen in the side view. The tip is always something special. So I'm going to make the tip a little bit later and move the front a little bit back. As you can see, uh, the second section is already perfect. So is the third and the fourth. But we need to make this one a little bit smaller. How to make that smaller? Well, if you pick this scale, we can do that. But then you'll only make it smaller in the y direction not in the x direction as this fuselage is is almost circular up to somewhere around this this area it's not the best idea so let's go back one step take a look uh, from the left side just go right here and scale the whole section and how do you do that well do you scale the whole section by selecting the modifier the handle in the center. As you can see, the whole diameter is now smaller, but it's still a circle, which makes a lot of sense. Of course, it's way too small now. So let's go back and increase the size. As you can see, it's a little bit too low. Here we are too low and also here. So we move the section up. Next one. That's a lot smaller and it also needs to be moved up a little bit and the last one this one should be somewhere here and now you can see the reason why the the length of the of the first sculpting feature isn't that important you just move the end face and it's it's where you want it to we can now go back forward and and, and change the sections the size of the sections to a better fit of the side view but i think you can already see that uh, we are missing uh, some sections we need a few more here it's a little bit too straight for my taste so we need one more here and if we go to the to this side I think we need at least one way here, maybe two. Well, let's start with one. How do you do that? It's pretty simple. You just, again, double click one of the sections, which is next to the missing section. Right click and insert edge. The edge can be inserted on either side. I would like to get one somewhere around here. And you can also see that the shape slightly changes. You can you can prevent that, but 
it it really doesn't matter we're going to change the shapes anyway so let's go back double click edit form and scale it until it looks like the the side view also this one this needs to get bigger you can also move them if you feel that they're in the wrong spot or it makes more sense to have them in another spot this one might have to be a little bit bigger and moved it up but that's not too bad what about the front here yeah we need to end to to insert another uh, section again how do you do that you double click the section right next to the one that's missing right click insert edge and now let's see where we where it makes sense maybe a little bit further to the left somewhere around here if we increase the, the section here then we should get a very nice shape edit form increase it gets different but as you can as you can tell this now is too big well, that's what happens but it's a process that you can spend a lot of time with until you're happy with the result Okay, let's look at this shape from front to back. And I would say for a side view, this is good enough. Of course, when you look at it from the top, this is not nearly the shape of the original fuselage. So let's change the fuselage now in the top view only now is pretty important when you do the same thing with double click on the on the cross section that you do not select the center modifier because you would destroy the side view now in this case when you look at it from the top you only want to change or, or select this handle this this one uh, scales the selection only in this view Let's make this bigger. Double click here. Make the next one bigger. Maybe this one a little bit smaller. Also, you should be careful not to move them left and right. Because if you do, also you destroy your side view. And this is it. Everything is repaired, and here, obviously, Bird Route 10 used some, used some circles because they're all circular shapes, at least according to this three-sided view. Let's check in 3D, and as you can see, it almost looks like the finished fuselage. Let's make the tip of the fuselage. For the tip, you can simply double click on this uh, front edge and fill the hole. There are several different options to fill the hole. One is reduced star or fill star. I usually use the collapse feature, but please don't forget to select the weld center vertices. vertices. It's so much easier to work with the fuselage afterwards if the center vertices are actually welded and not eight individual points. We don't need to maintain the crease edges because if you do so, you just get a flat tip. And we don't want that. Now, when you compare the new tip to our picture, you can see it's slightly different. So let's select the front point, edit the form and pull it forward. 
it will never get 100% sharp, but to be honest, the real Spaceship One doesn't have a sharp tip. It has a very small radius, but there's still a radius. And this is it. This is your first sculpted fuselage. Thanks for watching, and please make sure to watch my other videos.